Hello, I'm Rob Waddington. Uh, I'm a coach and guide on Rutland Water here. Um, what I'm going to do today is show you how to tie one of the best fry patterns on these lakes. It's a minky. I'm using uh, a size 8 B175, quite a strong hook here, and I'm, I'm using white or grey thread. So first of all, we'll tie the thread in, wrap it around the, around the head, and then wrap it over itself. I'm going to go all the way down to the end using this bit of thread to make sure that my turns are nice and even. No lumps. There we are. Cut that off. Now this is a minky. Why is it called a minky? Well, it's because it's tied with this. A bit of mink fur. Actually cured, it's still got the skin, the, the cured hide on the back of the fur. It's very soft fur, and when this is waterlogged, it's as soft as a chamois leather and it wiggles very enticingly. So, I'm going to make this as a fairly long tail, I'm going to very thin strip. You can buy these in thin strips, or you could buy what can you do? You could even buy a, a bit of bit of somebody's mink stole or something and cut it into strips. But there, this is a, a pre cut strip. I'm going to lay it on the back of the hook there, bind it in like that, that's lovely. And just anchor that in with a little bit of a hitch knot there. And that's there. Now then we're going to tie the body in. We're going to leave this for the moment till later. This is where you can really let your imagination go wild. We just want to create a little fish pattern, little fry pattern. So the body can be up to you. I'm going to use this tiny, this little UV glitter fritz here. I'm going to tie a little bit in here. Strip the end off so you've just got the string that holds it. And then whip that into the, onto the hook there. And then I'm going to wind it all the way to the top again there. now then I'm going to wrap this around the body taking care that I'm going to just going to with my fingers just move the fibers to the back so we're not really trapping them between themselves similar to how you tie a, a blob actually which we could do at one at some time This is just going to create a translucent, fishy body. Thank you, Rocky. There, I think that's enough there. Tie that off. Okay. I'm still leaving this till right at the last minute because now I'm going to tie some little beady eyes in. It's very important to have eyes on these fry patterns because it's a trigger point for the fish. Big eyes. Now I'm using these pre-made eyes. Get a little bit of a, a teardrop onto it that you can attach. Finicky. I'm just going to build the head up a little bit first. You can see I'm not an expert fly tire. I'm an average fly tire. I enjoy it, but I just do it to catch fish, not to uh, follow any rules of fly tying. Yeah, I'm going to tie these eyes. It looks like the the wrong way around. I'm just going to tie it in like that for the moment, and you'll see why in a second. Now I'm going to build up an I'm going to build up a nice head with the th tying thread. Adds a little bit of weight, some extra thread as well. It makes it wobble a little bit.
still keeping those eyes this, the wrong way around. Now I'm going to tie the end of this, the body in this. This is like the fin at the top. I'm going to pull that over the fly here. Lay it along the top. And tie that in. There. Now, good thing to have on these fry patterns is a little flash of red, you know, to, to recreate the gills or the flaring gills of a small fish. So I've got a little, you can use anything you want. I've got a little piece of Arctic Fox red fur here, very, it moves, it moves really well, does the Arctic Fox. Just a little snip of this. And I'm just going to tie a little bit down the throat underneath the hook here. Just a little suggestion of red. And tie those both in. Clip away the rubbish. A little bit fiddly. But then I'm going to build up a bit more of a head. I'm going to glue these eyes, super glue these eyes back in a second. So I'm just going to make something here that we can glue it to. I think that'll be enough. Nearly finished. Whip that finished. One, two. Probably would like a few more, but we're going to super glue it in minutes, so that's fine. Now then, super glue. What would we do without super glue? Bit on, bit on the back of this eye here. Blink. Back of this other eye here. Now I'm going to pull these back and stick them onto the count for about 10 seconds. Oh, I'm stuck to it. <laughs> beautiful minky. Now you can see how soft that this mink fur is so soft it's got these nice little spiky guard hairs there and then and then when the when the skin the, the, the hide is wet it becomes like a chamois leather and it wiggles more like a fish than a fish it's probably the best fry pattern to use. Now I've, we've tied a white one here but black mink is great grey mink is great you can use them to catch trout, you can use them to catch pike, you can use them for saltwater fish. It's one of the best fry patterns there is. Actually, I caught my biggest fish on this on this pattern just outside the house here. I saw a fish feeding on fry, I cast to it, and it took it. Eight pound rainbow, grown on rainbow. <laughs>